good morning good afternoon good evening depending on your location welcome to our channel twitter deletes president buhari's tweet lai mohammed the minister of information creates nigeria's minister of information lai mohammed has faulted twitter for deleting president mohammed buhari's tweet which contained threats of violence against citizens. Twitter had said that Buhari violated its rules and warned that such violations could lead to permanent suspension from the microblogging platform. It was earlier re reported that the Nigerian president in a tweet on Tuesday threatened to give the civil war treatment to persons behind attacks on the country's critical infrastructure. Twitter, however, deemed the tweet as being in violation of its policy against threat of violence against individuals or group of people. Hence, it was deleted. By reacting, Lai Mohammed accused the tech giant of double standards, adding that they, Twitter, are not the universal rules. The minister said Twitter may have its own rules. They are not the universal rules. If Mr. President anywhere in the world feels very bad and concerned about the situation, he's free to express such views. Now, we should stop comparing apples with oranges. That's his usual slang. If an organization is proscribed, it is different from any other which is not proscribed. Two, any organization that gives directives to its members to attack police stations to kill policemen, to attack correctional centers, to kill warders, and you are now saying that Mr. President does not have right to express his dismay and anger about that? He has not expressed his dismay or anger about the bandits who attack, who kill, who kidnap, who collect ransom. He did neither express his own opinion about uh, Fulani his men that had been killing, raping, marauding, destroying farmlands, causing starvation in the land. That's Sly Mohammed for you. They are the ones guilty of double standards. I don't see anywhere in the world where an organization, a person will stay somewhere outside Nigeria and will direct his members to attack the symbols of authority the police, the military, especially when that organization has been proscribed. By whatever name, you can't justify giving orders to keep policemen or to kill anybody you do not agree with. I think um, Lai Mohammed, the famous information minister of Nigeria, has become some kind of um, uh, he cannot make any press conference without mentioning IPOD and then and the Kami. That's what I'm reading from what he's saying here. A plane falls in Kaduna and kills generals, he will blame it on Nandekami. A fire comes up in uh, Lagos, they will say it's in Nandekami and IPOD. That's how become a, a sing song for him. He's very, very much. Uh, uh, how do I say it? He's fixated on Namdekami. Nothing, nothing bad happens in Nigeria without it being caused by IPOB. <laughs> Mr. Anti-Social Bill, or whatever you people called it that you took to the parliament, Anti-Social Bill, hate speech that you try so much to pass in the National Assembly to make it law in Nigeria, that anybody who violates it will pay 300,000 Naira fine and possibly go to jail. <laughs> I think you have to thank your God that uh, you didn't eventually pass that bill because if you did, now that Twitter has deleted the president's account, um, tweet, what do you call that? I think he will be the first person to be heading to Krikri or Kujie prisons because of for hate speech, because this is a acute, typical hate speech. 
he showed his hatred, especially for a particular section of the country, southeast. They had a war before, millions were killed, and he's telling the same southeast that he's going to give them the same war treatment again. What his speech is much more than this, Rai Muhammad, if I may ask you. You are busy reading proscribe and proscribe and not proscribe, kill, kill, kill. What his speech is greater than this one? You guys that surround the presidency, you are all a shame. I know the president didn't write this uh, tweet. Probably Femi Adeshima uh, wrote it because it smells of his uh, handwriting. After all, he is the one who said that if you don't want to die, you have to surrender your land to the headsmen. That is the Nigeria of today. And nobody dares criticize or say anything. If we even voice our opinion on the social media and you find it critical of the government, you term it his speech and you want to do the person in. We wish you guys well with what you're doing, but you have seen it now. You have become an anathema in the international community. You see, you have rubbed shame on your faces. Thank you very much for tuning in to our channel. We will advise you or solicit you to kindly subscribe to our channel so that you get um, breaking news as they happen. We will also continue to bring you updates on this news which we are following. Click on the not notification bell so that you will immediately get um, any information we release without searching for it. It will come directly to you. Thank you once more and remain blessed.